now let us discuss about storage structures in computer system organization concept uh, already in the last class uh, we have seen about uh, computer system operation uh, we have three concepts in computer system organization concept the first one is computer system operation in the last video already we have seen the topic in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the second topic that is storage structures in the next video we will see the third topic that is uh, ivo structures so we know about uh, storage uh, it is useful for storing some information some data in order to store the data we have three types of memories the first memory is uh, main memory the first memory is main memory or this can also be called as uh, primary memory primary memory second one is uh, secondary memory third one is uh, cache memory so in order to store the data we have three types of memories first one is main memory or primary memory main memory is useful in order to store the data which can be used by cpu why because uh, we know that any task or any program can be executed by cpu but cpu can executes a program only when the program resides in main memory so that's why main memory contains the data that is needed by cpu the best example for the primary memory or main memory is ram ram stands for random access memory so let's see the properties of ram ram is a volatile memory so that means when we switch off the computer then the contents of the ram will be lost so this is about main memory or primary memory now let us see about secondary memory it is mainly useful in order to store the data or programs permanently in the computer so secondary memory is useful for backup purpose so in order to store the data permanently in the computer here the best example for the secondary memory is hard disk hard disk here whenever we save any program then the corresponding program will be stored in hard disk whenever let we have a movie which contains 5 gb of data so whenever we save that movie then what will happen is that movie will be stored in hard disk but at the time of watching our movie that content will be transferred from hard disk to the main memory why because here we are watching the movie so the task can be executed by cpu only but cpu can't access secondary memory directly so cpu can access only main memory so at the time of watching operating system transfers that movie portion from hard disk into the main memory okay so that is about what is secondary memory here secondary memory is non volatile memory so that means when we switch off the computer then those contents will not be lost that content will be permanently resides in the computer okay if you take the example of a microsoft word document or powerpoint document or excel document that those softwares that powerpoint software or word software or excel software will be stored in secondary memory but if we open any word document or if we open excel document then that word document will be transferred from hard disk to the main memory why because while we are typing some data in the word document so we must need cpu so it is the responsibility of the operating system to transfer the document from secondary memory to the main memory okay now let us see about uh, uh, the third memory that is cache memory 
catch memory is mainly useful in order to store frequently used instructions but the problem with catch memory is relatively faster memory catch memory is extremely faster memory it is very very faster memory but the problem with catch memory is it is very very smaller in size it is very very smaller in size so catch memory is mainly useful for storing the frequently used instructions it is extremely faster memory but it is smaller in size now let us discuss about uh, these three memories by three characteristics the first characteristic is storage capacity storage capacity or this can also be called as size the second characteristic is cost third characteristic is access speed access speed so first let's see about uh, storage capacity here the storage capacity of the main memory the storage capacity of the main memory will be in gbs like 1 gb 2 gb 4 gb maximum we can have 16 gb whereas the storage capacity of the secondary memory is extremely larger so here the storage capacity will be in 1 terabyte 1 terabyte equal to 1024 gigabytes it will be like 300 gb 500 gb 600 gb likewise whereas the storage capacity of the cache memory is very very limited so maximum we can have uh, like 1 mb 2 mb maximum we can have 8 mb like this so here the storage capacity of the cache is 1 mb 2 mb 8 mb like this whereas the storage capacity of the main memory is 2 gb 4 gb 8 gb maximum 16 gb whereas the storage capacity of the secondary memory is extremely faster like 100 gb extremely larger like 100 gb 200 gb 1024 gb likewise now let us see about the cost here in order to buy a 4 gb of main memory we need to pay 3000 rupees in order to pay a secondary memory of 1 terabyte we need to pay 3000 rupees in order to buy in order to buy a cache memory of 8 mb we need to pay 3k so which is expensive which is expensive cache memory is very very expensive cache memory is very very expensive why because in order to pay 8 mb we need to pay 3k rupees and after that main memory is main memory is relatively cheaper than cache memory but it is expensive when compared with secondary memory in order to buy 4 gb of main memory we need to pay 3k whereas secondary memory is very very cheaper for buying 1 terabyte hard disk the 3k 4k is enough so we can say that secondary memory that is hard disk is very very cheaper whereas cache memory is very expensive whereas coming to the main memory it is relatively it is expensive than secondary memory but it is it is what it is cheaper than cache memory now let us see about the access speed here cache memory contains frequently used instructions so that means if you take a for loop let we have a for loop like this for i equal to 0 i less than 100 i plus plus here we are using the i for 100 times i less than let let it be 1000 i less than 1000 here we are using i for 1000 times so these frequently used instructions should be placed in the cache memory okay so here coming to the access speed cache memory access speed is very very faster why because cache is nearer to the cpu whereas second whereas main memory is main memory access speed is uh, somewhat uh, Uh, very very faster when compared with uh, secondary memory uh, but when compared with cache memory main memory access speed is slower whereas secondary memory access speed is very very slower so secondary memory access speed is very very slower cache memory access speed is very very faster 
but coming to the main memory it is extremely faster when compared with secondary memory but it is slower when compared with cache memory so why secondary memory access speed is slower why because cpu can't access secondary memory data cpu can access only main memory data so the data which is in secondary memory has to be transferred to the main memory so for transferring we require some amount of time so that is about uh, uh, access speed so here the point is as the storage capacity increases here what is the cache memory storage capacity it is like uh, 2 mb 3 mb 4 mb whereas what is main memory capacity main memory storage capacity is 4 gb 6 gb likewise hard disk storage capacity it will be in 1 terabyte 300 gb 400 gb likewise so before that we can use registers also before the cache memory we have registers registers are very very faster than cache memory why because registers means they resides in cpu only so registers are very very faster when compared with cache memory but register stores limited a piece of data it stores only limited amount of information okay uh, registers capacity is in bits okay bits and bytes okay here the storage capacity is increases register storage capacity in kilobytes and bits whereas cache memory mbs main memory 4 gb hard disk 1 terabyte here as the storage capacity increases then we can say that the cost will decreases as well as the access speed will also decreases here the storage capacity is increasing but coming to the access speed registers are faster cache memory is slower when compared with registers main memory is slower when compared with cache memory hard disk is slower when compared with main memory as the storage capacity increases then we can say that the access speed will also will decreases as well as the cost also will decreases so in order to buy cache memory of 2 mb we need to pay 3000 for this also 3000 for this also 3000 but coming to the data extremely faster extremely larger data so this is very very important point as the storage capacity increases the cost will decreases as well as the access speed also will decreases this is about storage structure in computer system organization